everyone! My name is Cami Williams and I'm a Facebook open source developer advocate. If you've clicked on this video, chances are you're curious about what a neural network is and what it means within the context of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Fortunately, there are a lot of resources about neural networks, whether it be white papers or blog posts, but things that can help you understand neural networks both programmatically and mathematically. A lot of times, though, those videos or white papers have barriers to entry to them, like understanding all of the technical jargon or mathematical equations that go hand in hand with building a neural network. I wanted to create this video as kind of like a step zero, explaining in layman's terms what a neural network is and a high level overview of some of the more integral concepts explained with a metaphor. So hopefully by the end of this video, your interest is piqued to be able to dive into those white papers and highly technical videos and start your journey in machine learning. You might notice I'm positioned a little bit off center and that's because I'm going to try and draw what I'm explaining so bear with me my drawing skills are not that great but hopefully you'll find some humor out of them alongside learning these neural network concepts please bear with me okay cool so let's break down the phrase first neural network first part is a neuron. What is a neuron? A neuron is a learning unit of the brain. It takes in information and helps us to understand and interpret different things. Think about when you would learn something when you were growing up. You see something new for the first time. Let's say a green apple. How do you know it's an apple? All the apples you've seen before have been red or yellow. Well, it's round like an apple. It has an apple stem. If you cut it open, it has seeds that resemble the seeds of an apple. These characteristics that have helped you identify what an apple is are now just a part of your innate understanding of apple. So the neuron in your brain takes in those data points and says, hey, we've seen that before and we labeled this as apple. Therefore, it's probably also an apple. The same is true for a computational neural network. The neuron looks like interconnected nodes. The first section of the nodes or the input layer of nodes is that vision, that image of the apple. The output nodes would tell us the probability of that vision being an apple. It's probability because just like seeing a red round thing in the distance, you can never really know for sure that it's an apple by just that vision. You have a guess. So similarly, the network guesses based upon these previous experiences of what an apple is. So this input information might be a bunch of different pictures of apples, pictures of things that aren't apples, all of them labeled as apple or no apple. All these nodes in between the input and output are what helps to identify what an apple is. These are the hidden layers. They can have information like, is it red, green, yellow, is it round, is it not round, etc, etc. In order to build all of this and go from a sample image of an apple to the probability of it being an actual apple, we have to help the computer identify all of these characteristics. These instances or examples of, as I mentioned earlier, what an apple is and what it isn't. So what does it mean to have color? What does it mean to be round? You need to teach a computer what these characteristics are as if they're learning learning them for the first time, seeing everything for the first time. So in the process of building this neural network, we have our training data, which could be a bunch of different images and have a label associated to that data point. This data and its characteristics help us to build this model in order to identify what is an apple and what is not an apple. So in our case, our labels would be apple, no apple, and maybe some other things that we want our neural network to be able to label. With that said, your training data, the stuff that helps you build these characteristics of an apple and how you label it is very important. This example is simple, but you can see how having a diverse training set conceptualized by a diverse group of engineers is very important. When you do have a diverse team who has built a diverse training set, you can more confidently say, yes, my neural network identifies races, genders, or various other scenarios that you have ensured are unbiased towards a single programmer. So we've identified what inputs and outputs are. What happens between the input and output layers, this hidden layer, can be defined by different mathematical equations and functions that you can search and read about more deeply. These equations and this approach isn't just for images, it can also be applied to text, audio, video, or a mix, depending on the equation. 
So fortunately, putting this all together completely from scratch doesn't have to be your final answer. In many deep learning libraries, like PyTorch, for example, they have these built-in data sets, this built-in training data ready to go for you. Something like MNIST for training handwritten numbers, or ImageNet to detect objects in our daily life, and so on. From a programming perspective, using a library like PyTorch also makes your training easy. When you access the data set, you can then define what you want your neural network to look like. For example, how many input nodes or output nodes you want, and what that layer in between should be able to deduce. With PyTorch, you build the path for the data to pass through these various layers. Then you can compute the error or inaccuracy from this pass through i.e. how far the output was from actually being correct. Finally, you can optimize your network accordingly. It might sound difficult, but with PyTorch, I was able to do this all in 80 lines of code, sometimes fewer. Aside from the offerings of the actual PyTorch library, there are also some great examples on PyTorch.org. There you can find the technical documentation of all of this, some ecosystem projects that help make building a lot easier. There are tutorials, forums where you can ask questions, and learning paths to further your understanding of the mathematical concepts behind all of this. So in summary, when you're building your neural network, you start with data. This data is labeled according to the answers that you want from your neural network. When your network is fully trained on that data, you can take a random image or random sample that is unlabeled outside of that data set, put it through your neural network, and you'll get an output that represents the probability of that random image, in our case being an apple or not an apple. Hopefully this video was helpful to you understanding the basics of what a neural network is. If you're interested in reading further, I've linked down below some resources from pytorch.org so you can get started on your understanding of machine learning and neural networks. My name is Cami Williams. Thanks for watching.